Hi, Quinn. It's Patricia, your CNA. I'm here to take your blood pressure. Cool. Just going to clean off the stethoscope before we take your blood pressure. Now we're going to put on the blood pressure cuff and I'm going to check for your brachial artery. Okay. Line this up. You can go ahead and set your arm down. Your blood pressure is 112 over 66. Let me put your arm. Thanks. Set that down. Okay. Do you need anything else before I go? I'm good. Okay. Thanks. Things to remember. Use the correct size cuff. Do not take a blood pressure on an arm that has an IV in it. If your patient is lying on their side, choose the arm on the bottom. If that arm has an IV, ask the patient to lie on their back and choose the arm without the IV. The cuff should be wrapped around the bare arm snugly. Don't let the air out of the cuff too fast or too slowly. If the cuff needs to be reinflated, wait two minutes before reinflating the cuff. The arm should be at chest level when taking a reading. When you are finished, release all of the air from the cuff by turning the valve to the left. If the blood pressure reading is abnormal, reposition the cuff and check the blood pressure again. Record blood pressure as systolic over diastolic. An example of this would be BP 110 over 60. If using an electronic blood pressure cuff, the patient's arm should be relaxed to prevent the cuff from getting too tight or an incorrect reading. Things to report. Blood pressure that is higher or lower than normal for the patient. Blood pressure below 100 over 60 or above 130 over 90. If you are unable to obtain a blood pressure reading. Tell a patient what their blood pressure is 